one of the top e-commerce apps on the uh, on mobile, iPhone, Android, whatever, is eBay. eBay is one of the biggest companies in Silicon Valley. And we're going to find out what's happening with mobile and context and uh, the future of shopping. They have this cool thing where they're going to deliver uh, something to us in less than an hour. We're going to hear all about it right now. Who are you? I'm Steve Yankovich, and I'm the uh, vice president of uh, mobile at eBay. Um, and I'm a uh, I'm an inventor, first and foremost. Inventor. Yeah. What did you invent? Uh, I've invented a lot of things, uh, a lot of software uh, algorithms, uh, a few devices to do um, various things. So more like mechanical engineering. Yeah. But uh, over my career at um, I guess five startups, and then now eBay's the first time I've worked for a Fortune 500 company. Um, you know, to me, it's about creating. So, I've got a patent portfolio of about thirty-four patents wow. and patents pending. So, that's that's so impressive. I think of myself as an inventor, right? For very, eBay, very cool. Yeah. Um, e one of the reasons I keep like liking to talk to you is because the uh, world of mobile is just getting hotter yeah. and hotter and hotter. Everybody can see that. Even Facebook had to admit that, right? Yes. Um, and a lot of these app companies, when I talk, like I was just talking to uh, the McHughes at Flipboard, and they're looking at building e-commerce into their product, yeah. which means they got to go to you or one or two other people to yeah. get you know, things to buy. You need inventory. Yeah. You need inventory, and you guys have it. Yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> we have the largest inventory uh, of anybody and the broadest right, selection of inventory of anybody worldwide. Um, and that lines up perfectly with mobile because what's happening, I mean, you know, everybody that would watch this knows, we're so addicted to the smartphone. Yeah. And it's with people from the time they wake up to the time they go to bed. And guess what? Inspiration for buying a product, wanting a product, impulse happens from that time you get up to you go to bed, wherever you are, right? And whatever yeah. time of day it is and whatever you're doing. And so being able to do it on that device is a big deal. And having everything matters. Because how many apps am I going to have where I, where I buy and shop and have to set up accounts and that kind of thing? But with us, you do it one time. And whether it's a toaster, a pair of pants, a car, a boat, a car part, you know, a new pair of jeans, whatever it is, we have it. Or it's a 100-year-old cuckoo clock that yeah. maybe, you, maybe you're interested in buying. And so that's what, that's what we're going after. And, and it's also changing with the way we interact with, with stores, right? And so a big thing for us... Um, in this holiday we're doing some of it and we'll do a whole lot more next year is connecting the online and offline experience right so today we've got the huge inventory online uh, but we're working with our retailers many of them who are GSI customers one of our companies yeah it's a company uh, King of Prussia as it yeah. turns out and they do uh, the web stores and a whole bunch of other services including fulfillment they have a giant center where they ship millions and millions of packages right for people like uh, Polo Ralph Lauren uh, Dick Sporting Goods Toys R Us, I mean, wow. they run major brands, right? Because they're a tech company and yeah. they're also retailers. And so we're connecting um, the offline experience with what people are walking around in their hand. And that's, you know, imagine the eBay inventory as big as it is and saying, now it's that plus all these major brick and mortar retailers. And we'll help you get to the store, buy it ahead of time, or even experience the store in a different way. Yeah. You know, it, it, let's just put Amazon out there. Amazon's a competitor of ours and a competitor of yours. Uh, in different ways, yeah, yeah. Um, but you guys have uh, you hook together all these stores. You know, my my uh, ex-wife is an eBay power seller. She sells jewelry and stuff on eBay, and, yeah. and you you just mentioned a bunch of little stores. They don't want to, uh, they can't play on Amazon very easily, right? Because Amazon is trying to be the ultimate yeah. store, and they're competing with. Yeah. You know the the local jewelry store as well as that's right that's right as well as these big box you know that's Best right. Buys and stuff like that that's right yeah we we kind of level the playing field right because we can have these monster sellers you know Best Buy sells on eBay and um, and you could be selling you know the five D the Canon five D that you don't want anymore yeah and ultimately that's that's good for both because sometimes someone says I'm going to get that camera because I can get a good used one for a lot less but when they see the choices they may flip in yeah. that moment and say, oh, I'm going to buy a new one or the other way around. And that's good for both the seller that that item you sell on that camera or that big box guy because you never know. People will draft both directions. So we, we're just connecting the buyers and sellers. We don't compete with that seller. Right? Yeah. And that is different yeah. right, from Amazon and others. Yeah. 
we're heading into a world where these things know a lot about us, and that gets freaky, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I call it over the freaky line, but it's the age of context that I'm writing a book on. Yeah. Uh, and I, you know, these things know where they are. They, in the future, they're going to know where they're pointed, yeah. right? Um, they're going to know what our buying yeah. behavior has been in the past, right? Yeah. I, I'm running an app called Place Me that's tracking me and uh, yeah. knows whether I go into the Gap or go into an Apple right. store, go in, or what my favorite gas station is, or what, whether I eat Mexican food or Vietnamese food, right? Yeah, yeah. Knows a lot about me. Is, what is eBay's uh, vision yeah. of that? <clears throat> so that's, there's two, two buzzwords today that, that are, are, are exactly that, right? Personalization and big data. Yeah. Because you collect all that information. Imagine how much it is. I mean, literally the lat lawn of where you're going or maybe where you stop. Because if you're moving, it's like we can assume you're just going from A to B. Um, and then put on top of that everything else. What time of day is it? What day of the week is it? You know, what store, what did you buy, what did you do, how long was the session, you know, all that stuff. And you're right, so how do you use that? Are you, um, and, and you can keep collecting more and more and more data, yeah. right? It, if I buy something on my phone from eBay, why aren't you going to weather.com and collecting the weather and putting that with a purchase so you know what, you know, was it sunny when I bought? <laughs> was it cloudy? Because yeah, yeah. maybe you guys go see well, a new pattern and say, oh, on cloudy absolutely. days, no, you're right. You're sales right. of XYZ go up. So, you know, you, you know I'll use the word creepy. The trick is to have people opt in, right? And you know, you have to be a good citizen, right? Um, and how you do things. So you need to opt in to location, right? For any, for any, for us, for sure. But all apps typically do that. But you need a good value proposition. Why should I let you know? Why should I let you be big brother a little bit? And if the value proposition's there, people will do it. Um, well, you guys have a new app. Tell me about the new app, Google or uh, eBay now. Yeah, so I almost call it Google now because there's a Google now, which is also doing this kind <laughs> yeah, yeah. of contextual uh, personalization in a different way. Yeah, right? so and that one's more about um, not tracking where you are, but where you are at the moment you decide you want to purchase. And um, so we have a few retailers involved, and right now the eBay Now is an app that works in San Francisco, and it's about real-time delivery of a product that comes from a store though that you could have gone to, but it's convenience. We're sitting right yeah. here, and you've got an iPhone 5 and you don't have the lightning connector, you know, and so no one else has one. I got to have one. I can't, I'm, I'm not going home right now. I need it for the day. I don't have time to go get it. Let's call a courier, right? And then bring it. And that's what that's about. But it has to do with your location right now, not where it's home. Yeah. Because we could be in a restaurant right now and have that, that accessory brought right to the restaurant. Yeah, if you forgot somebody's birthday and you're out to exactly, dinner, like, exactly. Well, I, I can pull out my phone now and have it delivered, and, exactly. and I'm still cool. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So we we will, um, and we are today using using um, you know what we'll call personalization, which is about where you are dynamically right now. We're, we're doing some right now, and we'll do we're doing a lot more in the future. Yeah. And and you're right. There's there's data that's about. I mean, for us to not make it creepy. It has to be data that's really relevant. So if I, if you're Roberts an eBay shopper, and Roberts turned on, you know, um, some of our apps and let us know where he is, and that kind of thing, and we look at the collective and go, we understand what you care about. So now, when you launch one of our properties, we might show only products we know are in your wheelhouse yeah. because of what you've been doing with us, like recent, right now, not two years ago, because it changes, right? Um, and that's important because the mobile behavior is what I call snacking, and I'm happy lots of people around the world are stealing my, my phrase um, um, about this. And, and it's these small little you know, snippets of time. It's little hors d'oeuvres of some no, I was looking at, I was looking at Facebook on the walk, you know, on the two minute walk from my car to Exactly. The and you know what that personalization and that big data is gonna allow us to do? Not just that the, con the context is interesting to you, but it's changing. Because that's why you look at Facebook. Even, I mean, you look at Facebook 30 minutes ago, you know if I look now, it's going to be different. Yeah. The wall will have the new stuff at the top of the stack, and that's why we look, because we want something new. It's like why we look at the weather, I guess, or the news, or you know, you know every time you go look and, and you're going to get a little bit of something different. And that's super important, because you had that little you know, moment in time where you engaged with something. Yeah. If I can make it relevant and also dynamic, then I've got the chance for you to have that impulse and that discovery and flip into a purchase that maybe you know wasn't on your shopping list in your head before, yeah. And that's a big deal. This stuff can uh, 
So the, the, the uh, eBay now, you can just click a button and say, I need, I need a cable delivered to me. And it, yeah, you've got, you've got a couple. Is it like Uber? Do I get to watch that cable get closer? You actually do. And, and so uh, you try, try it out. And what you'll see is that we've got a couple of, uh, here in San Francisco, a couple of uh, stores in there. I, I, think, I forget if it's past Best Buy and Target, but those two are in there. And you basically will look at our, our mobile web store for those guys, find a product and buy. And then you'll, have a, you'll see a courier connection happen with you. They have a, the courier version of the app. And what will happen is they'll get your phone number, but, and they can text you, but they don't, have, they, don't, they don't actually see your number. So we've done a thing to secure your identity with that courier. They do not have your phone number, but they can literally interact with you. And you'll see on a map their route and where they're going. Oh, wow. And, and which is important for this, this concept where it's not just the residents because, like, your offices, it could be tricky to get into some of these San Francisco kind of buildings and stuff, and where exactly, where's the door, and yeah. you can see them and say, hey, it's going to be tricky, I'll just meet you out front, you know? And that's what gives us that opportunity, both seeing where they are so you know when you might have to meet them, and then having that real-time communication, right? But yeah. where, again, you're still secure, they don't really have any of your personal information, right? It's a really cool... A uh, cool model. Right? You know, I bet you're dreaming about the uh, Google Glasses, the Project La Wearable Computer, the Pebble Watch. You know, yeah, are, I mean, are you thinking about how to sell stuff on? I'll, the I mean, wearable? like I said, I, I, to me, uh, I'm I'm an inventor and I love tech, and so I'll I'll use anything I think will resonate. I don't know about the glasses and stuff like that. I mean, uh, you know, to me, there's times at which I want that um, information. You know, it's called like a heads-up display thing, right? Yeah. I want that in my world, and there's times I don't. Um, you know, I'll give you an example of something I'd like to pull off um, as we do more and more for retailers, right? Where we're powering an in-store companion experience. Um, and we're doing that some now in, in Red Laser. So Red Laser will geofence the front door of, of um, thousand plus Best Buy locations. Yeah. And if you're going in there, we'll say, are you going in Best Buy? Yes, I am. And then you get some in-store inventory in that store, specials and open box stuff. Which is really cool, because you may not even think of, is there open box stuff I should go look at? But if we make you aware, it's like, you know, I wasn't really shopping for one of those, but they got an open box one, that's a great deal. Yeah. Let me get that. And that, that's the kind of stuff I expect to see in the glasses. When I walk through a geofence of a door yeah. into a store, can it talk to me and say, hey, uh, Joe will meet, meet you to help you out, you know? Particularly if, if you put on your Google Calendar, I need to buy a camcorder for yeah, yeah, Merriam, yeah. you know? Well, the whole system the could get really smart about this. Well, right? this is why this is why context personalization matters because um, the problem with the glasses is unless you're very very smart about what I show you, it's yeah. going to become noise and I take them off. So what I here's here's the trick: in in Red Laser, you can onboard a loyalty or gift card. Yeah. So we make a digital facsimile of that thing. We're not talking the back end system, but we're taking care of the most important thing for the user, which is I, I don't know where the card is. I don't carry fifty of them with me. But if it's on my phone and that's going with me everywhere, I've got it. That's our signal that you care about Best Buy because you onboarded that card. Because I don't want to, if you go to Santana Road down in uh, you know, San Jose, you know, there's 60 stores. I don't want to like do a, a geofence uh, push alert for every store you walk in front of. Yep. I, you don't care about all of them. And that's yep. just like, you know, go away. I'm going to delete the app. So glasses would be worse because it's more disruptive in your, in your yep. field of view. So it better be interesting to me because if, if you're doing stuff that I don't care about, um, I've got a problem, right? So imagine what we're already doing with Best Buy, and now the problem is for a lot of stores, they're big, and so how do I navigate the store? Yeah. And what I really want is that Yelp-like augmented reality experience. Um, I want it for clothing. Yeah. I mean, I go to a store and it's like, I, I only wear extra large shirts, and it's like, I don't want to look at rack after rack and there's none there. What I really want to do is, is span, scan my camera around and only see the racks light up that have my size on it. That would be brilliant. Did you see, uh, I think it's Bloomingdale's or uh, one of the stores at Stanford Mall uses Microsoft Connect sensors and you stand in this little booth for a couple yeah. seconds yeah. and gets your uh, body type down the quarter inch. So, yeah. and now you can put virtual clothes on you when you're at home or you can do that kind the of trick. Scenario. The trick there is that clothing manufacturers don't have um, a universal um, size information to know that from one brand to the next that a large is large and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and I'm not going to tell you the details of it, but um, we actually have, again, using data, right, um, an idea that we'll probably launch in the fashion app to actually figure out people who have your size and what clothes worked. And so you know anonymously that we've got data that says people with your size, your shape, your measurements, right, this manufacturer's shirt worked for them. Yeah. And here's the size, because it might be large when normally you do extra large or whatever it is. 
And so we've got so much clothing information, right? So many SKUs on eBay um, and buyers of it. We have this huge ecosystem of people where, you know, we can take that information about what worked for people, right? And you tell us what worked, right? And you know that I'm going to tell you because the value proposition is, oh, yeah, I could find out that a Hugo Boss, that shirt will actually work for me, yeah. where I might not have picked it before. Because the thing with the size thing, so that's in the store. It's more interesting when you do it when I'm not in the store, because I can always try it on, even if I'm in a hurry and I want to get, get in and get out. But if I'm right here and I'm just decided, you know, I need a couple sweaters, and I find some interesting stuff, I like the price, I like the way it looks, but I don't know this brand, I've never tried it on. So how are you going to help me understand if it works and fits, right? So there's, a, there's some cool stuff we can do with, with the data yep. to actually get that right. At, at Rackspace, we have a theory that, the, that this contextual world will need to be more open. You know, we're, we're pushing our systems to be totally open source yep. and open, open as possible. Do you, do you have the same theory at eBay? Do you, do you think about yeah, we have a, how to open up your data so that a developer yeah. can suck it off and do, do something interesting with it, yeah, like on yeah. a flip order? Whatnot? Yeah, we have an affiliate, uh, eBay's had an affiliate model where you can use an API to get to search. So you, you can just put search results. So you could be some kind of a, um, a, uh, um, a forum of some type for particular kinds of things. And you can use keywords for whatever makes sense on this page of your forum you hit this API and back comes eBay items. And so you can display those alongside. And so hopefully it's contextually interesting and people click through and you can make money yeah. right, based on that. And um, w mobile obviously is, is big for us, right? I mean, that's the thing is that this, the growth this year um, continues for us. Um, and, uh, and, and this holiday is gonna be even bigger. Um, Are you releasing any numbers? Uh, we're not releasing any numbers right now, today. Okay. But um, you know, we are, we've our, our street number is that we'll do 10 billion through mobile this year, which is a huge yeah, it's a huge number. Um, but the what's really interesting about it is is the growth around the number of users that are net new to eBay, and this is why I think mobile's um, you know super interesting is because when you used to shop where it was only the store and only the the, the computer you typically didn't do it with other people. I mean, sometimes, but almost never e-commerce. You don't go, hey, come here, look who I'm shopping on eBay to somebody and have, have come over to your desk. But with mobile, because we're doing it every waking moment, we are doing it in front of people a ton. Yeah. I mean, that's how we discover apps and stuff like that. Yep. And so what, what we know is going on is someone's at lunch with somebody and they, they bought a car on eBay and, and they're like, oh, all right, like, what? So I just bought a new car. What are you talking about? On your phone? Yeah. And they'll show them and everything. And that guy, it's that viral thing. It's, it, this is the, the old kind of social, yep. right? So the social shopping that's going on because of the smartphone, right, is big. So we're on, I mean, we're, it's, a, it's an acquisition channel for new customers. Yep. With, with you know, you well, being not, my salesperson because you're happy with what you got and that you bought it when and where it mattered to you. Not to mention, uh, the next billion people that join the internet are only going to be mobile. That's right. They don't That's have right. a Windows PC or a Mac PC. They, they're not going to know that world. That's right. They're That's only right. going to know the world yeah. of a smartphone yeah. or, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's hugely important for, you know, if you're going to be a global business and you're going to compete in emerging markets, right? We, we have computer baggage here. You know, we probably have six computers per person or some crazy thing. Like, I have, like, I know you probably have a similar number. I think I have 12 computers at home, you know, yeah. and, and, uh, and lots of smartphones, right? But that, you're right, that's not the case uh, for other people. Their only internet connected device is gonna be, you know, the phone, right? Well, any last thing to finish this up? Uh, just, just that, you know, we're, we're gonna see, and I'm sure you will too, that this, this uh, um, sort of what I'll call, um, you know, social shopping via mobile is gonna be bigger than ever this holiday season, yeah. right? And so I, we're, our business continues to grow month over month and this holiday is going to be no different. And we're, I think we're going to see more. People are going to be sitting around the table at Thanksgiving on the phone or the iPad. And that's socially acceptable these days. Yeah. Right? It doesn't bother anybody that I'm kind of on the, on the phone doing this thing saying, what? Where did you get? You know? And that's like a socially okay thing. And that's going to happen more this year than ever before. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be great for us and it's going to be great for the consumer. You get, uh, your apps are on what platforms? Every one. There's Blackberry? no platform. Yeah, it's there Windows too. Phone? It's on Windows 8. Windows 8? It's on the Windows 8 desktop, too. All right. Yep. So I get it. Just search for eBay on any exactly. store. Exactly. Yep. Search on your platform wherever you get apps, and you're yeah. going to find it. Yeah. Very cool. Thanks. Thanks so much, man. Good to see you, Robert.